Ghouls. Ghosts. Goblins. Government tax audits. All of these things scare the shit out of me. More so, the tax audit. I'm just saying. This is simply horrifying. This month, we take a look at Welcome back everybody, this is Matt with another edition of Simply Horrifying from Simplistic Reviews. As we roll, keep rolling along in our uh, quest for the best Tales from the Crypt episodes, this is another edition uh, from, or another episode from Season 3. Probably one of my favorite episodes from Season 3 um, up to this point, but it, as a whole it's probably the best one in my opinion. Uh, this one is called Top Billing. It is directed by Tom Holland. Tom Holland I recognize from as the director of the video game based movie with Fred Savage, The Wizard. But he's also worked on uh, Malcolm in the Middle, Larry Sanders Show, 30 Rock, a whole bunch of comedies. So he's pretty well known in the TV industry. So Top Billing. This is a story from the Volta Horror, I believe, from the Volta, Volta Horror comic book series from EC Comics. And it stars John Lovitz as a down-on-his-luck actor who's not doing too well for himself. He's scraping the bottom of the barrel and doesn't know what's wrong with him. Maybe because he's too nebbish, maybe he's too fat, maybe he is not a good actor. But uh, he has his buddy uh, who is Bruce Boxleitner. And he's uh, this competitive actor of his. And they're always going toe-to-toe -to -toe, and Bruce is always telling him, you got to sell yourself. This isn't about who you know. Well, it's about who you know. It's not about your acting ability, so... They're leaving, or John Lovitz's character is leaving, and he picks off a little thing, you know, uh, from the board that's saying, oh, Hamlet auditions. So he's interested. He goes to audition for this Hamlet role. Sure enough, his buddy's there to also audition with him, so he's not too happy about this. The director of the Hamlet production is uh, John Astin. John Astin, a lot of people should know as Gomez Adams from the Adams Family series. Uh, it's funny because he has his like little pen pencil mustache, kind of has like he's like Gomez Adams if he went completely insane, basically in this episode of Tales from the Crypt. So, needless to say, John Lovitz is at his wit's end, and he well, that's all I'll say. But uh, this is a really really great episode of Tales from the Crypt. It's it's really funny. It, it of course has the classic twist at the end. But it's one of those twists that you're kind of like, ah, oh, you know, you you feel bad for, I'll just say John Lovitz gets his at the end. I won't tell you how he gets his, but he does. He's the one that gets to come up, it's at the end. But it's only until he's pushed to the very brink of insanity <laughs> that he does the one thing that makes him, you know, the character that needs to get off at the end of the episode. So, really fun episode. Uh, it's just funny how they work Hamlet into the entire thing as well. Um, it's very goofy. It has an excellent twist, like I said before. And that's about it. So, episode... Uh, I forgot what, which one is... Maybe episode 6 or uh, or 7 from season 3. Uh, top billing. And that's about it. So, we'll see you next time for another edition of Simply Horror Pop. Thanks for watching Simply Horrifying. If you crapped your pants, we've done our job. And you probably have IBS.